Welcome to Cebu Expat by Matt Wilkie, discussing expat life in the Philippines. Are British Filipino marriages treated differently in the UK? Um, UK must be one of the most racist countries on the planet at the moment. Uh, immigrants get blamed for everything. Um, a failing economy, a um, bit like Hitler, will look for the easy target. Um, World War One was a failure, so who does Hitler go after? The Jews. Um, UK is very similar, it goes after the immigrant. It's the same thing. Now, there's different things going on here. The first thing is, if your wife comes to the UK, Filipinos treat them differently because they see them as not being a true Filipino OFW because they're married to a foreigner. It's all crap mentality nonsense. Um, and you'll also find <laughs> they're quite they're quite devious some of these people because they're they try to create issues between you and your partner um and the reason i know this is not because of me and my wife because we haven't been to the uk and no issues uh, sorry we do have issues about going there i'm not interested in going there um but what i hear is from my Filipina friends who are in the UK that will tell me about the social stuff that goes on with other Filipinas that are married to um, Brits, maybe married to um, Filipinos, etc. And there's stuff that goes on in their circles because there's a there's this whole crab mentality thing where they like messing around with things to create problems. Uh, what do I mean? Uh, the first thing is the ego stuff still going on. So it's a child's first birthday in the Philippines. I think it's the first, seventh and maybe the 18th birthday are the big ones. As such, they've got to be a big celebration. If there are not, if they are not, the um, they get sort of a, the old uh, gossip on how crap the party was. Now, me being me, if somebody's looking for it to be crap in the first place, I couldn't care less what they think. Um, because the whole point is, it's about the child, it's about the celebration. I don't care if we're meeting cheese crackers and uh, water, if that's all they can afford. Um, the fact is, they invited me. That's what matters. But you will find crap mentality likes to go... Oh, it's your son's birthday, isn't it? Um, are you having a big party? Are you getting the bouncy castle? Are you having this? Trying to create an issue. This is because what happens is your wife's got all this in her head because all the other Filipinos have been feeding her with all this crap. Um, so then goes to you, uh, such and such had a party and they had the bouncy castle and the uh, the head caterer was in and, they, and you're like sitting there going. And what's going on? You know, <laughs> I only went to work. <laughs> so that's one of the things you have to watch for if you're bringing a part to the UK. Um, these are the problems that do arise. Now, the other thing is you'll get problems where your wife may want to work. Your wife working is mainly a fun to support herself and her family because otherwise they don't feel independent. Um, now you probably think I well, they don't need to be in yes they do um, if their mother's sick for example they don't want to come to you they want to be able to deal with it themselves because that's that's something that is there it's, that's, it's a personal thing so that's something to think about before you even come to the UK because um, I've seen some some stuff go badly wrong when people start going to work. Um, it's all manipulation. It really is. Uh, from people having an affair to somebody coming home to their husband one night and says, I don't love you anymore. Um, and you're just thinking, what changed? The person had changed. But it's all done in a very negative way. It's... The UK is like a 
cancer almost in in some ways um because i see it on a daily basis because i've been out and then come back i sit there and i can see that people are riddled with negativity um and people just ain't upbeat you know they're not looking for the positives the media love to see somebody fall flat in their face look at youtube videos people sit and watch people hurt themselves on um things like the well Jer the you being framed sort of stuff i mean you being framed used to be set up for having a joke at somebody's expense <laughs> you know uh, putting their other football team as um, getting the team to come around their house, you know, the team they hate as a bit of a joke, a bit of a setup. But now it's like, oh, look, somebody's fell off the roof and smashed their face through a windscreen. Oh, how funny is it? It's not funny. It's painful. Um, but that has become the norm. Unfortunately, that is the norm. People like to run each other down. And I find, I find it very hard and sort of heartbreaking in many ways because it's what's wrong with society. <laughs> um, you know, like um, I know with Dave, Dave's working hard in sorting his business and everything out. Um, if you follow Dave's comments, um, for me, that is what this videos are. Well, these videos are about is getting a positive outcome. Um, when I heard that several people had moved to the Philippines after reading my blog for years, um, it was the positive outcome. I don't look to run anybody down. Um, I will be honest though, if somebody's a really bad person, I'm uh, probably one of the most aggressive people to go after them. But that's because I want things in a positive light. I want things to be right. I want people to enjoy life. Um, and if you can't, then we've missed life. You've only got one. So I would say if you bring your partner to the UK, be aware you will get the racism issues. Oh, racism, I haven't touched on. Racism uh, will come from your own family. But you'll find it will get less and less the more you, they realize that you ain't gonna change, you got this woman you love and you will ditch the family first. Um, you'll normally find nine times out of 10, the family will change. You'll get the odd bigot and racist, um, but I find bigots and racists are very easy to manipulate and make them a fool of themselves. Um, I remember a friend of mine where there's a group of Filipinos in the house and this guy has gone, ah, oh, don't you hate it when they speak in their own language? And my friend's gone, oh, we speak, that's what we speak in our own house. Because <laughs> yeah, it's like, that's how, that's, that's how we speak at home. <laughs> it's not that they do speak like that. Um, it was because he knew it would annoy the guy. <laughs> And that's the whole point is don't let things get you down because the secret to all this stuff is finding a way around it. Um, like that, my friend had a chuckle and is telling other people about it because he found it very funny. That guy will be annoyed about it. You can see him down the pub going, the foreigners, they come to our country. And you're just thinking, the guy's annoyed himself. He's put him on the early trail to an early heart attack. <laughs> It's how you deal with it. Um, how do you deal with a partner that's a risk of leaving you by Western influence? Is by communication. Um, I look at it this way. The best birds are in the trees. They're not in a cage. Um, it may be nice to have a bird cage next to you and have the bird tweet in the morning, everything else. But I'd rather see the bird outside. Um, if it's inevitable, it's inevitable. The whole point is, I look at it from the fact that you've given a person the freedom to make their own decisions and choices. Um, with my wife, I've given her Europe. You know, she's always wanted to be there. She's always, she's set in Spain now. We'll be in Germany for Christmas. I want to go to the Netherlands. I want to go to Belgium. I want my wife to see the Europe. 
Um, that's what I have to offer. You know, that's me. You know, I don't go there, oh my God, what is this? The fact is you embrace a relationship. If you contain it, it will never work. Um, but also you'll never be happy. If you look at happy people, they don't contain other people. Their happiness comes from sharing experience, knowledge, and doing whatever they want in life. You know, it's embracing it. It's why I quit work. Uh, I wasn't happy doing it. I'm too, too long away from home. So I quit work. Other people will be like, what do you mean you quit work? It's like, because I don't care. You know, what I care about is my wife, my kids, and living life. Um, the rest of it, you can work out on the way. It, it doesn't really matter. Um, it's why I'm spending a lot of time learning Spanish at the moment, because I may end up being the waiter in Spain. But I don't care. You know, I'm not being funny. I was talking to um, a guy who's quite high, high up in the business I'm in at the moment. And he leaves home at 6 a.m. and gets home at 8 p.m. every night. Um, he relies on some of the information I give him to actually get through the day because of my knowledge base. But the fact is, he was talking to his wife and said he'd be quite happy to be a waiter or working in his dad's restaurant um, because he has no life anymore. And that's the other side of this. So if you're getting your partner over to the UK, make some serious thoughts on what you're going to do, where you want your life to go, what decisions you're going to do and take and then sit and talk with your partner about them because it's not for you to decide it's for both of you to decide and once you've got that in play then nothing else matters i'll be honest with you you'll be happy it's it only goes wrong when other people start poisoning the relationship it's like with my wife i discussed the fact the the crab mentality of other filipinos overseas um, it's not all Filipinos, but there's a lot of the bad ones around. And the problem with bad people is they're normally talking the loudest. Um, but if you're aware of it, you know the traits are, the sounds are, what people are going to do. And then you can preempt it. Because then your wife's sitting there going, I know what you're going to say next. I know, what you, you know, you've already educated them on what people get up to. <laughs> and as such, they're sitting there going, oh. You, you're not helping me, you're manipulating me or trying to, but I already know this crap. My husband told me. <laughs> so these things got to think about. But I'll be honest with you, I wouldn't come to the UK if I had an alternative. Oh, yeah, I'm in Spain. <laughs> but I know many people do go to the UK. Um, and I know I, I, I'm always hammering the country, but it's more to do with some of the mentality these days and poor politics. Uh, we must have some of the best corruption on the planet these days, and they get away with it day in, day out in the political arena. Um, it's sad. And it sort of makes me... Well, how can I be proud to be British? That's all I'm at. What, what is there to be proud of? Um, they've destroyed everything that was the values I was brought up on. Um, let me know what you think. And I'll point out, just to finish this off, what, what was I brought up on? First thing is, um, immigration issue is not a problem because my memories as a child is World War Two was to stop all this nonsense that's currently going on and the British um, mentality on abusing other people, etc., has come out of this. You know, it's gone the other way. You know, people fought in World War Two to stop this um, oppressive way of thinking, and yet we've U-turned. The our political system is not only abusive, it's self-serving for politicians. Um, people 
don't have the same level of care for each other that I would appreciate. You know, they don't value each other. It's too much me, me, me culture. Um, what else? It's a cost of living's a joke. Um, it's all artificial and it's all fake because it's all riddled with debt because we're paying other people's pensions off at the moment and we're about to pay off Greece's as well I assume. <laughs> um, and what would be the I suppose the the other side of it being is false investment the UK will spend a fortune on training courses that mean nothing uh, they'll, they'll get people to go and do a course on how to write their CV uh, curriculum vitae or resume if you're American um, when the reality is they already know how to write it they've just got nothing to put on it because they've never been trained in anything um, but they charge £400 for doing that out of my taxpayers money and everybody else's taxpayers money to an agency or government body or whatever nonsense they want to call it but at the same time won't train them in engineering or anywhere else that would actually create a job for them that is the uk all right thanks for watching because i know i'm going off on a tangent here <laughs>